Okay. Support, support, so support. I keep hearing support. There are tons of groups here, and support groups run by parents. That their children have the same conditions, they deal with the same stresses that you deal with, and no one understands that better than another parent who has a child dealing with what you're dealing with. So, if you research it online and look, and then find one that you really like, they have online groups, they have groups that get together, they have groups that as family units get together and they do outings, they do events together. Mm -hmm. And it's a protected environment because they know that they can't always take their children and, and be in an outing somewhere and, and, and worry about that. So you have a tendency to keep them home and then they don't have that interaction with other children at their okay. age. But with a support group, it's a protective group because it's moms and dads going out as a family unit and doing something together. So that would be my encouragement for you is having that support system in place, someone that you can call and talk to, someone that totally understands what you're dealing with. If you just need a phone call that day to pick it up and say, I just need five minutes, mm -hmm. okay? And then it's someone, and you know, and you become that part of that support system for them as well. So you're not just receiving, you're pouring back out too. Mm -hmm. But um, if you would just Google it, you do, you'll find them. There's yeah. tons of them here. Well, uh, that'll be interesting about the family dynamics because or you know the family outings because that's one of the, the hardest things is that there's no one to watch him right. you know and most of them have things but they're for the adults to go and talk to each other but you're like well, we don't have that so like my husband our marriage has suffered because we've always had to take turns going right. to you know life groups going to you know all that kind of stuff because that, so we need like somebody that's going to like <clears throat> also watch him you know right. through right. those support groups you'll find those um, resources as well okay so that's why he's really encouraging me to, to, to share with you. Okay. Research those, because they'll have those resources. They've already done that. Whether it's yeah. a, another mom or another dad that has a child doing what, and they come over. Yeah. And as a couple, they come over and watch your child. So you and your husband have that intimate time to go out and be a couple. Right. So you can work on each other. But a part of that, that's a part of that support group. Okay. Is because they're they are they already know. Okay, good. Well, I, I, and I'm sorry if I that said it all sounded negative. That was the, that was my experience in Canada. Right. Right. So I hadn't been down. You know, I mean, so I just got down here. So I mean, I, I I've, I've 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 joined the Facebook group, but I haven't done anything yet. I but yeah, you'll to. find the people here are totally different. People I know. Here are so loving and so caring, <laughs> and they'll give you more advice That's why than I you to be ask for. Yeah. Yeah. Why but, move? yeah. But at the same time. The people here are, are honestly, legitimately different because when they say they're going to do something, yeah. they're there. Yeah. They're not just saying it to say it. Yeah. If they say, hey, call me anytime, they mean call me anytime, and they won't answer the phone. Mm -hmm. It's a different dynamic here, I promise. It's, the atmosphere is totally different. No, it's true. Even at church, I would be weeping at church, and people would look, just look at me. They wouldn't even ask what's wrong. They'd just go... And I'm like, that is such a Christian cop out, you it know. Is, is. <laughs> I'm like, what are you praying for? You have, you don't even know that I just got, you know, beaten up this morning, and you know, I mean, like, so it was so. Uh, again, I'm getting rid of the self pity because I just was in a really painful, yeah. painful, yeah. painful place. So we did get rid of self. -pity. Yes, we did. Yes, and it's not coming back. It's not coming back. Okay. So sorry. Well, first off, as Norma said earlier, um, and I just said to. As you walked in, the, the strength that you don't even understand that you possess um, because of the because you're battling, but but you're here, you, you have survived to this point, and that's that's a testament in and of itself. Um, God's ways are higher than our ways, and we don't understand His plans and purposes. So we don't know why your son has had to endure what he's endured and why you've had to endure it with him. It might be for his future and his destiny and his ministry. We don't know. Um, so he reminds me of, of the, the strength and the faith that, that Abraham walked in. Walking up that mountain, can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Walking up that mountain. And, uh, but he knew his God had a plan. He didn't know what it was, but he knew his God had a plan. And, uh, <clears throat> that is the uh, kind of faith that, you, that you're going to have to walk in um, <clears throat> because you don't know the plan. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But you know what happened. There's a there's a line from a song that says, uh, "If we're crying, why are we worrying? Mm-hmm. If we're worrying, why are we crying?" Mm-hmm. And, and and that's well, the only way you can. get through this yourself with your family intact is to give it to him. Mm-hmm. And, and you have warred up to this point and now he's needing to refresh and revitalize you. And you have to turn this over to him and, 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 and re allow him to re-equip you to walk out these final steps. So it's really a time You get that renewal from being in his presence, whatever that looks like for you. If it's worship, if it's reading the word, if it's whatever it is, whatever it looks like, it's in his presence where you get renewed and restored. Mm-hmm. When, when, when you think there you are at your last thread and somebody's got scissors just mm-hmm. like this, you get in his presence and it all goes away. You walk out of it renewed. Oh. Um. You do need to go to that life church that's near you. There's two couples you're going to meet. I think they also have autistic children. You uh, felt like the Lord was saying to you can call the church and talk to somebody there and say, "This is my issue. I have an autistic child. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone else in your church?" It's like there may be already a group of a meeting, but if not you may be the catalyst that starts a formation of mm-hmm. a group. But because I just, I felt like I was seeing two couples, then they've dealt this lonely road like you've had to deal. And so this would be a divine connection for you. So don't run away yet from my church. And, and just, but pursue. You need mm-hmm. to really pursue this and call and ask. And if the first person, do a second call. If the mm-hmm. first person can help you, there's a second call. Because okay. I know God is showing me there's two couples there. Some way, those should get connected with you. And the three of you couples can help each other. And it will be, uh, it'll be strength. Okay. He said to remind you about the worship. When you start feeling weary, and you think, all I want to do is go to bed, go worship. Okay. Turn on the worship music, whatever you have to do. When you're feeling empty, lonely, tired, overwhelmed, turn on that worship music. Okay. Never has there been a time in history that God is using that worship time to radically move us into him and radically move us into strength again Mm -hmm. it's just the season we're in it's part of the year it is I'm sure you know but God is doing something new and for so many of us we ask something and before we hardly got it out of our mouth he's been answering it Mm -hmm. and it's little crazy things you know (laughs) maybe I need to find something it's like where is that and well Suddenly the thought comes, well, so, you know, and I go yeah. get it. But he's really intimate with us right now is what I think I need to say. He's very intimate with us right now. Okay. And he said to me that this timing was ordained by him for you. This is no accident because you've been so seeking help and nobody would help. Mm-hmm. And God says he did bring you back to Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. And you have been disappointed with your family because you really thought they would be here for you more and they're not Mm -hmm. and God says it's because they don't believe like you believe Mm -hmm. you truly are a righteous God warrior Mm -hmm. stronger than you have any idea of now the further you get on the road the more you're going to look back and say well I was pretty doggone strong how did I get through that (laughs) you know but God is uh, is saying that you're a leader You're a minister. You are one that knows how to articulate words very, very well. That's why you're going to write more than one book. Mm -hmm. Um, You could truly go on Amazon right now, write your own book, and publish it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. All online. Yeah. For a very, very cheap price. Other parents need to know your experiences. Because what did you have to help you Mm -hmm. when you were going through it? Nothing. And now you have wisdom and revelation that needs to go into those books. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, your son's sickness is absolutely an attack of Satan. Mm -hmm. It's not what you did. It's not what anybody did. 
but Satan knew that if he took those shots, what would happen to him and all these other children he's done it to also. So it's not a fault of yours or your husband's. Mm -hmm. This child was the blessing of God given. Miracle. Right. Yeah. And so that's why Satan's acting. Mm -hmm. Now, we know our God can heal anything. Yes. So we're going to pray and believe right along with you that there is an appointed moment that he's going to absolutely be restored mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I uh, bind you up in Psalms 91. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper mm -hmm. from this point on. You are your household because you are the daughter of God. And you're going to trample on the cobra, the serpent. That means all of his demons. Mm -hmm. And you are no longer going to let Satan get away with anything. Because mm -hmm. he's got away with too much because you were so tired you thought, I can't fight. Mm -hmm. And so God says that's part of this time he shifted you into this group of people. Misty's one of them. But this group of people and us. That are going to say, uh-uh, devil, enough mm -hmm. is enough. You're going to back off now. Mm -hmm. And so you're in a company of warriors. Okay. Is what he's telling me. He's brought you into a company of since warriors. I <laughs> <laughs> people that say, Good. yes, our God. Yes, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Not, well, if it's his will. No, no. I know what his, his will is. Will. That's right. I know. He yes. told me. Yes. It's in his word. Yes. So we declare you're yes. going to see the manifestations of healing in your child, yes. in your life, your husband's life, in your child's life. And provision. Amen. And, and provision. peace and joy. So we call in the divine connection for your employment now. Yes. God, within the next seven days, yes. that she will have that connection and she will be able to go to work at your salary, Father God. Lord, she said, I will sweep floors. I will go to Target. I will go anywhere. Lord, I know you have better than that for her. Yes. So, Lord, you bring her into the righteous place that you have for her now in Jesus' name. I also bind you up in Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. That's all the blessings of God. Okay. As you're obedient, you're the head, not the tail. There's no sickness. There's no weakness. There's no lack in finances. There's nothing negative. So I bind you in that scripture, and I declare it was written for you for mm -hmm. such a time as this. Amen. Amen? Amen. So we seal everything. Yes. You, uh, when you go and, and when, when, when the moment's right for you to take communion with your son, Lay hands on him. Your hands. See, that's part of those hands full of go to. <laughs> Woo! Power of heaven, power of heaven, power of heaven. Woo! Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Mm. give up his broken mm -hmm. body for nothing. We receive that healing, yes, Lord, Lord, into this young man. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. 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 God, we believe you. We trust you. We seal this mighty work you've done today with the name and blood of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we expect miracles. Mm -hmm. We expect because you are a mighty God and there is nothing impossible with you. Amen. So we look forward to the glory reports, one after another, after another, after another, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.